A recent report by McKinsey Global Institute highlights five opportunities that could help South Africa create 3.4 million jobs and add 1 trillion rand to its GDP by 2030. Uh, with me to discuss these opportunities is Finweek editor Jana Marie. Jana, some positive news. There's opportunity. Where are these opportunities yes. that was highlighted <laughs> by the report? Yeah, thankfully, some good news. Yeah. I mean, I suppose it was, uh, there hasn't been much of that around. Um, I don't think anything that McKinsey said in the report is really rocket science or phenomenally new, yes. but it was quite interesting to see numbers attached to these opportunities. You know, I think we've, we've talked about things like agriculture, advanced manufacturing, you know, spending money on infrastructure better so we get more bang for our buck. Um, natural gas is another one they've identified. So none of these opportunities, you know, increasing our exports, services exports to the rest of the continent, none of it is new, but if you look at the numbers and the job create, um, the potential to create jobs, really we should be paying a lot more attention to them and, and get things in place so we can start exploiting those chances. Yeah. It'd be nice to get things in place. Do we have the capacity to implement the reforms that are needed in order for us to reap uh, the benefits of these potential opportunities? Look, that's always the, the challenge, right? Yeah. Um, Brian Joffe said this week, um, you know, we've got, he sees great opportunities in South Africa. It's just uh, unfortunate that we like shooting ourselves in the foot so much. <laughs> so maybe if we can stop doing that, that will already help. I think the big challenge is going to be much closer collaboration between government and, and private sector. And again, this is something we keep talking about for years and years, and, and you don't really see that relationship improving. Um, and the other thing, of course, is skills development. And again, okay. I think there is money. I think it's really a, a, a question of will. And if we really want to, I think we can, we can definitely um, cash in on some of these mm. chances. So you've highlighted the challenges that we're facing. What are the low-hanging fruit? What are the, the, the opportunities that we are most uh, will be easiest for us in, in order to capture? Look, in my view, I don't think any of it's necessarily going to be easy, but I think the easier one's probably um, natural gas. And with that, they don't mean exploiting shale gas in the crew. Um, it's really in terms of getting the capacity in place that we can import liquefied natural gas, for example. Mm. Um, and I think that is something we certainly need to look at. I think Sasol came out this week with a tender in Mozambique, they're keen to increase their capacity on their pipeline from Mozambique. Um, so yes, we must look at those opportunities. I think the other potentially easier one is, um, is possibly services exports to the rest of the continent. And, and they make a good comparison. At the moment, South Africa has a market share of about 2% on, in Sub-Saharan Africa. If you compare with Brazil in Latin America, their market share sits on 26%. So there's no oh. reason why we no. shouldn't be at least playing in the 20% um, range rather than the 2%. And I think a lot of our companies are already there and already have a footprint. Um, it's just really growing that and, and building, out, building on that foundation. Now a lot of ground to make up, but as you said, great yeah. opportunities. We just have to get the reforms in place to do it. Jana, great. thanks so much. Uh, that was Jana Marie, of course. She's the editor at Finweek. Next up, let's take a look at the change for this week.